I'm Tanda Liwayo, um, a maize breeder of Simet. Part of my job is actually improving maize productivity in Southern Africa. My name is George Mahuku and I'm working in the Global Maize Program and I do research to minimize impact of diseases on productivity and focusing mostly on uh, Africa. I am Aida Zodu Kapada, a PhD student in the maize program of CIMIT, doing my research on drought tolerance using double haploid spreading technology. Could you write this? You can write your whole name down. Just so we get the spelling correct. The question is, well, how can Africa be part of the solution? I think Africa is already part of the solution. How the people can grow, but how they themselves can grow. Africa has the capability you know, to be the breadbasket of the world. There is a lot of things going on in Africa. A lot of uh, organizations informed with the objective of uh, solving Africa's own problems. And uh, the organization of African Union, which was the original organization of the EU, was uh, formed with that objective. It's a really hard question when people start to think of Africa. Because in most cases, whatever people look at, they only look at the negatives and they don't look at what the positives are. I believe Africa can be changed by changing the attitude of the people. Lots and lots of people are highly educated. All we need to do is to figure out ways to harness all this information, the resource base, the education, and turn it into something that is positive. And attitude of the people can be uh, changed using education. And education I don't mean by professionalism, but in terms of the way people think, how to grow in a country, not alone, but as a group as a country, as a whole. The International Maize and Wheat Improvement Centre aims to sustainably increase the productivity of maize and wheat systems to ensure global food security and reduce poverty.